Slade Bolden is a Ravens undrafted free agent wide receiver coming out of uh, the University of Alabama. He's a slot receiver primarily. He's 195, 5'11". He's the point man in this bunch. You're going to see him attack the outside leverage uh, of this defensive back, stick his foot in the ground, cross his face, beat him across the middle. He is that sort of receiver. Uh, He's going to have good success in gaining separation against off coverage, shifty, good change of direction, uh, good hands, haven't seen him drop anything. Does a nice job here catching the ball away from his frame, securing it and getting upfield. He's an inside receiver, and for, for the most part, I see him working against off coverage. This is a third and one, empty set, so he's got all kinds of room to work here. Um, he does work a lot of underneath stuff. He does a good job going down and grabbing this football. I think the quarterback puts it low on purpose. You see he's got good hands. Again, it picks up the first down here as well. Alabama would scheme him open a lot of the time. Um, the back end of this bunch, you see him turn it into a stack with the number one receiver. And then he's going to kill this all day. You know, just an easy, quick out. Um, for some reason, I cut this play off. He's not a good open field runner. Or not an effect. I shouldn't say that. He's not an effective open field runner, generally. Doesn't break tackles. Doesn't juke, guys. Quick feet. Quick out of his breaks. Reliable cat pass catcher. Quarterback is going to hit him on this post as part of the smash concept. He definitely shows that he can get open underneath uh, against off coverage. You don't see a lot of uh, variety in the way that he's used in Alabama. Not a lot of stuff um, outside of the 5 to 10 yard mark. Um, don't know about his deep speed. If he can kind of set guys up to beat them deep. Prochet can do that, you know, and we're talking about the same type here. The Prochet is more versatile receiver than he is. Against off coverage here, you get a, a look at some very kind of active feet, very quick. Doesn't get the football there, very quick. It's curious to me how else he might have been used. He's just your inside, underneath slot guy primarily at Alabama. Very nice looking pivot route underneath. You're going to see the defender drive on this, get beat outside. Watch it again. He's not a big guy, but he does more often than not show the ability to fit up a defender in space or on these tunnels uh, or bubble screens and do an effective job uh, moving his guy uh, or at least staying on his guy long enough. He's lined up as a split back at the top of our screen. They're going to motion him. To the flat, he's basically the check down here. Uh, this does show up routinely on tape. Him not really being able to make guys miss. I don't like him in a general sense with the football in his hand in space. Uh, based on what I've seen, you know, three or four games, uh, he's a guy that doesn't break a lot of tackles, doesn't make you miss a ton. So not a ton of yard after catch generally. I think he's a guy that will open up a lot of eyes in training camp, um, a lot of Praise will be uh, handed out to him. But I think ultimately he's a practice squad candidate. Um, there are definitely receivers on the Ravens now that can do what he does. I think at a higher level are more versatile in terms of route running, are able to use more than just the underneath parts. Now that could be something that he's just not shown doing a lot uh, in college and he could develop uh, on the practice squad. But he'll open up a lot of eyes just because he's dependable. Uh, he's got quick feet, can get separation underneath, and he catches the football. But based on what I've seen, uh, unless there's an injury, uh, his most likely landing spot would be on the practice squad.